This is such a great place to be most of the year, but the one thing that's missing here, okay, there's more than one thing that's missing here, but one of the major things that's missing here is electricity. People keep telling me how great it is to have electricity for various reasons. About 20 years ago, I contacted the power company. They told me it would cost about $30,000 to pipe electricity into here. I guess they don't actually run it through a pipe, they run it through wires. You could run it through a pipe if it was a metal pipe, but that poses some problems. Probably best to go with wires, but they would have to run it in from way, way down past those trees, and then over another hill, and then over another hill, and down to where the nearest neighbor is, which is really far away, which is one of the things that makes this place so great. The neighbors are really far away. They are great neighbors, but maybe that's one of the reasons why they're such great neighbors. $30,000 20 years ago, now what, it would, what would it cost to bring electricity up here? Plus, after you pay all that, I'd have to pay a monthly electric bill. From what I hear, electric bills are getting really expensive on the west coast. In some places, I've heard people have to pay something like $160 a month just to connect to the power, then the electric bill for what you use is on top of that. I don't think I want to play that game, so I'm thinking of going solar. I need the electricity to be up here, but we have a problem. I have all these pesky trees here in the way. The problem with this problem is I like this problem. I like having these trees here. I like the shade they provide, and I like them because they are, well, they're trees, and trees are nice. But that's the problem with setting up solar on this property, is there are trees everywhere. This is a south-facing aspect. It's good in that aspect. <laughs> aspect used twice. But not a whole lot of places where the sun would reach the solar panels. But I hear the thing to do, at least with the green energy movement, is to cut down forests to make room for solar panels. Well, if it's good enough for them, maybe it's good enough for me. But there is a spot around where the greenhouse is that stays sunny most of the day. I wonder if that's why I put the greenhouse there. Down there is about 150 feet away from up there where I would need to use the electricity. But I hear there's this nifty invention they call wires. You can run the wires between there and where the panels are, and the electricity goes through the wires, and it's, it allows you to put the panels a distance away from where you need the electricity. I am very intrigued by this idea. I have the garden and the greenhouse there, I would think right here would be a good spot. I got the septic tank right here, which is partly why this is a bare spot. The sun is starting to come up, trying to shine through the clouds. This tree line over here will block the early morning sun. In the winter, it should track just above that tree line. Full afternoon sun over here, and it will set over there. So we should have a full we should have a full, wait a minute, got a problem here. This would be such a great spot except for these two trees are in the way. They're sabotaging everything. This little oak got messed up in last year's snowstorm and it's right next to the septic tank. This madrone, I've thought about taking it out anyway. It takes water away from the garden. Since the thing to do these days is to cut down forests and take out natural ecosystems to put in solar panels instead of putting them on rooftops or maybe commercial parking lots where you could put them up above the parking lot and provide shade to the cars and the people down below while producing green energy above in that wasted space before you even think about cutting down forests or taking over farmland or other natural habitat. That just wouldn't make sense. So if that's good enough for the green community, I think taking out these two trees is good enough for me. I am thinking the smart thing to do would be to cut the trees down before I put the solar panels up instead of cutting them down after I put the solar panels up. And if you're wondering why the greenhouse looks so ghetto right now, 
which you probably weren't wondering that, but I'll tell you anyway. I take the roof panels off in warm weather to keep it from roasting in here. Right now I'm leaving it off so it will rain in here and water the seeds I planted. I planted my winter crop of greens in there. Once we start having cold weather, I'll put the roof back on. Taking out this small oak should not be a problem, but this madrone is leaning over the greenhouse for reasons I probably don't need to explain. I don't want it to fall on the greenhouse. I could drop it that way. There's an open hole there, but the septic tank is right there. I haven't buried this cap yet because I haven't hooked it up to anything yet. I am thinking it'll be better to make it go that way. It will hit these oaks, but I don't think it'll hit them hard enough to do any serious damage. And these small ones need to be thinned out anyway. I'll go get my cutting down forests to put in solar panels gear. We'll start out with that oak. <laughs> That was easy. The madrone could be more interesting, partly because it is leaning over the greenhouse. Someone needs to fix their garden fence. Looks like they've been busy fooling around making YouTube videos the last couple of years instead of maintaining this fence. I don't want to rely on wedges to get this madrone to go the right way because madrone can be dangerous to fall. It's so brittle, it breaks off the stump very quickly. Instead of maintaining a hinge that guides the tree down, it just breaks off the stump. We're going to use the tractor winch for that, I think. I haven't even started the tractor since July, June. It's been a long time. We'll go see if the tractor is feeling ambitious today, see if it'll start. Check the oil. I've heard that tractors like having oil. We are just below maximum. It even looks cleanish. Hook the battery back up. A coyote, no, a fox, got up here and took care of business on my hood. I'm sure it's a fox. That's the kind of thing they would do. Somebody's been eating manzanita berries. That's just rude. That's like something those pot growers at the ranch would do. At least we got a bunch of rain coming in the next few days. Wash that off. Look at that. Now my panels will have the whole sky to themselves. It's too bright and sunny here. Now I gotta put sunglasses on. It's a shame to cut down this nice madrone, but this healthy white oak should be happy about it. White oaks are slow growing. It'll take that a long time before it shades out the panels. But white oak is a longer lived tree, long term, 
This is a better tree that's better suited for this site than the Madrone. Years down the road, if this white oak starts to shade out the solar panels, just raise up the solar panels, which I might eventually do anyway to make them more fire safe. Most of the other Madrones that were in this area, I ended up having to take them out because they died or were dying. This is a good white oak spot. It's a marginal to not good Madrone spot. This one was doing extra well because it was helping itself to the water and nutrients right there in the garden. Now I have a big mess to clean up. I forgot to put on my things. I'm going to try something with this slash. Sometimes this works, sometimes it creates an even bigger problem than the one I'm trying to solve. That worked out well for getting a lot of the slash out of here. Let's see if I can work, get that to work again. Get more of it out of here. That worked out well for getting the slash out of here. Got most of it. It only left a few pieces and we have two more logs. It's so bright and sunny in this spot. It'd be nice if we had a shade tree right here. These two logs are gonna go out that way.
Beautiful. This is my version of the Green New Deal. Cut down the forest, slash and burn the trees to make way for solar panels. Good thing I don't have any farmland to pave over. Just doing my part to fight climate change. Ugh. It's not even a hot day today and it's so sunny, bright, and hot in this spot. I'm gonna go find some shade. So what, does this mean we're gonna get a Madrone sawmill video soon? Anybody know? This guy just walks off, never tells us anything. <laughs>